Listen, I don't care what you heard. You wanna know how different Zodiac signs act and what they do when they cheating? Guess you better stay tuned in, huh? You ready? Let go. But first, Virgo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, understand that if they cheat on you, you may not find out. Nine to ten times, you're not gonna know. Because one thing about a Virgo, they gonna cover their tracks. They won't leave no evidence. Virgo's very particular and very specific, so therefore they be looking at everything. They real analytical, they look at things from different angles. So nine to ten times they cheat on you, you're not gonna find out. Unless they want you to find out. Virgos are very smart, they dot their I's and they cross their T's. Unless they slip up, you probably would never know. Before they do anything, they gonna plan it out first. I would've told you to hire a private investigator, but I don't want you to waste your money. Trust me, if a Virgo does not want you to find something you won't find it cancer and when a cancer feels like you don't care about their feelings they stop caring about yours when a cancer loves you they want to be your everything but when they cheat they don't want to be nothing but cancers thrive off connection sometimes they can be pretty clingy they want to be together they love building relationships because if a cancer feels like you don't acknowledge their feelings and you don't respect them you gotta be careful because cancers are mostly manipulative if cancer ever gets to a point where you feel like they don't care about nothing you're doing and they're completely disconnected they cheating gemini Geminis are excellent communicators. They love to talk about themselves. They love to talk, 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 talk. Especially about what they did today, make it all about them. So if that Gemini is not talking to you, they're talking to somebody else. You gotta watch out because the Gemini is gonna have a new texting buddy. They're gonna be texting the same person all the time. Like, Gemini, who you texting? Yo, friend, I never met this friend. If you feel like Gemini is not talking as much as Gemini usually talk, and Gemini got a lot of new friends, always gotta go, oh, I'm gonna go out there with my, my friend. That's my friend, I'll see you later. So if that Gemini is not talking to you, they talking to somebody else. Somebody else they cheating with, Scorpio. A key way to tell when a Scorpio is cheating is they're going to get defensive. Especially if you ask them questions they don't like. How dare you not trust me? Even though they cheating. No matter what the situation is, they feel like you are talking about them or trying to insinuate something by the words that you're saying, they're going to go off and they'll get hella defensive. Everything you say will seem like an interrogation to them. Scorpios can be manipulative. They're going to make you feel like it's your fault. A low vibrating Scorpio allows their insecurities to overtake them and get the best of them. And when that occurs, they start cheating. Scorpios are already naturally secretive and private, but they're going to become extra secretive and extra private. And if you mention anything about any kind of cheating. It could be the animal cheetah that lives in the wild. They gonna get defensive. Like, what you mean by that? Maybe we at the zoo. What you talking about? Like, what's wrong? Something you wanna tell me? A low vibrational Scorpio would cheat because of revenge or even a sense of power. When a Libra is cheating, they're going to be very distracted. To the point they may even start accusing you. Like, I think you're doing something too. They're going to be overthinking. Remember, a Libra is all about balance. So that guilty conscience, they're going to have to transfer some of that over to you. So automatically, they're going to start being suspicious of you. To the point to where Libra will actually start getting jealous. They'll start to get distant and just drift away. Libras are also one of those signs that'll give you extra attention when they done bad. That guilt get you every time, Taurus. Tauruses are usually pretty loyal. So when they cheat, they gonna feel hella guilty. They gonna start being super nice out of the blue. You think they being nice? No, they just feel bad that they cheated. They may start doing nice things for you. They may buy you something. They gonna definitely buy you some food. Granted, showing love and affection and buying gifts is natural for Taurus. But when they cheating, they gonna do a bit much. You gotta hide that guilt somehow. And they don't necessarily have to buy anything for you. They may even go back on something they said they wouldn't do. They may compromise something for you. Whatever it takes to make them feel better. So they can feel like they gave you something. Since they did bad, they wanna give you something good. Giving you something good sort of makes them feel a little better by being so bad. Capital. When a Capricorn is cheating, they become really busy. They suddenly got a lot of things to do. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, just a whole little busy bee. They gotta stay late at work, they picking up extra hours, they doing this and they doing that. They're gonna definitely use that work as a scapegoat. Capricorns are smart, so they don't do nothing without it being planned out properly. All of a sudden, they got a schedule and they gotta stick to it 100%. It ain't budget because they fit somebody else in that schedule that you don't know about. A Capricorn is hard to read, which means that they ever put that wall down when y'all got together, it's about to go back up. When Aries is cheating, they're going to get very bored and uninterested in you. When you're dealing with an Aries, the best way to know if they're cheating is that you lost their attention. What their attention is, is it on you? Then if not, then it's probably somebody else. Aries require a lot of stimulation. And I wouldn't be surprised if Aries confesses. And sometimes they'll do little things to let you find out for yourself. If you don't say nothing about it, they're going to keep on cheating. On top of that, a low vibrational Aries will start arguments. They're going to pick fights. They're going to find a reason so they can have to leave. And go cheat on you, duh. They'll pick fights with you about something so meaningless just so they can storm off. They probably bored with you. And a low vibrational Aries will cheat just for excitement. Aquarius, when Aquarius is cheating on you, you gonna know. Cause you gonna feel a disconnection. They'll become emotionally withdrawn and they'll start to become numb to your feelings and your emotions. Things that used to bother them will not bother them no more. They'll start to avoid intimacy. Constantly watch what you do to make sure you ain't watch what they doing. It's gonna seem like they just don't care no more because they focus in on something else. They'll start a new activity like going to the gym, caring about how they look more often they wanna impress their new boo. And Aquarius will mentally check out of a relationship. And trust me, you gonna feel it. Pisces. When a Pisces is cheating, the very first thing they're gonna do is cut off intimacy. They're gonna avoid it at all costs. They're gonna be less affectionate. They're gonna be distant. And trust me, you gonna feel it. A low vibrating Pisces is very sneaky. A lot of time when they cheat with somebody, the person they were cheating with in that relationship becomes a new boo. The thing is, Pisces don't wanna hurt nobody, but when they vibrate low, they be sneaky and they be hurting people. Trust me, a Pisces love to spend time with they boo. And all of a sudden, they're not gonna wanna spend time with you. They gonna have other stuff going on, other stuff that you can't come to. Pisces is the kind of person, if you caught them cheating, they'll blame you for it. It was your fault. You made me do this. Sagittarius.
Once the Sagittarius starts to get bored in relationship, they're gonna feel constrained. Then that fear of missing out pops up. So once things start to get routine for them, they're gonna start looking for excitement elsewhere. When the Sagittarius is cheating, they're gonna stay outside a little longer, honestly finding excuses to go out. You're gonna notice they're gonna pick up a lot of new activities out of the blue. They're gonna be hanging out with more of their friends, taking friend trips without you. They'll have new activities. And no, baby, you ain't invited. Mm -mm. They'll definitely become impulsive and live in the moment. The moment of cheating on you. Leo. Leo's are signs that when they vibrate high, they are loyal. When they vibrate low, they are the complete opposite. If a Leo cheats on you nine to 10 times, they're already making plans in the future to leave the relationship. When a Leo is cheating, they're gonna turn into a lion. <laughs> a lion Leo. They're gonna lie to you, play games, and manipulate you. If you suspect anything, their favorite pastime will be gaslighting you. Every doubt, every thought you had about Leo cheating will be switched and blamed on you. A low vibrational Leo will cheat because you're not doing enough. If a Leo is cheating, you're going to definitely see a lack of affection. They're going to pull back. A low vibrating Leo is hella insecure. They need an ego stroke. If you ain't doing it, they're going to get somebody else to do it. In a relationship, we know Leos require a lot of attention. High vibrating Leo will give you just as much attention as they require. When they vibrate low, your attention won't be enough. A low vibrating Leo needs validation from everybody. So they're going to cheat. When somebody else has the attention of your Leo, you're going to feel a difference. Wait, did I miss something? Because I'm sure you're going to let me know. Can you do me a huge favor? Can you share this video, please? It helps me so, so much. I love y'all. Bye.